we've got Ronnie calling from Slidell. Welcome to the Winning at Life Nation. How can we help you today, Ronnie? How y'all doing, guys? Good morning. Good, Ronnie. I'm actually using Mortgage Gumbo, and we just finally sold our house for the sixth time. Hopefully, the closing's on Wednesday. Yep. But we found a house in Mississippi, and I'd like to either put a large chunk down so I have a low note and try to invest the balance, which should be somewhere around, I don't know, eighty or 90000 or pay off my existing debt and put a chunk down and have a low note. I don't know what to do with the way things are going to get rid of the debt or to have and have the low note or one or the other and invest some. All right. So here's what I'm going to tell you, my man, Ronnie. And um, yes, so here's the deal. You qualify on what we have you approved right now. You're already clear to close. So your additional yes, money right now more than ever, listen to these three words, Cash is king. So you throwing more money down is not going to make sense. For you to recoup your money, it's going to take way, way too long. I would recommend take that capital that you made off your house, go and pay off some debt, alleviate some of those expenses otherwise, especially if it's credit cards, personal loans, student loans, because all those are about to go way up. It's going to be a lot more painful. Chances are... The note that we're doing and a mortgage for you and all that, chances are, okay, that it's probably not your forever loan. So right now, Mortgage Gumbo, we're not going to put you in a house you can't afford. We may not like the number on a piece of paper, right, but you're buying a house. So let's let that house work for you. Let's let let that equity keep moving up. Use your cash to alleviate other things, my man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So don't yes. we don't want you putting down more. And, and look, if you want, get with me Monday, and I'll kind of digest that with you again and kind of help you understand. But I can show you why you don't want to do that, bro. Right. Because I've been working with Abigail, and, like, we were yep. going to put 100000 down on the house, but and that puts me at an 1100 a month note. Yep. But then if I can't really pay off all the debt, and if I do both, then I end up with nothing to invest. That's right. You don't want that. Well, in the investment part, look, that's that's on you. I, you know, but what I, I want to do, my goal is to make sure we get the roof over your head where you're comfortable and alleviate right. debts. That way, those little debts right now, and this is what I'm helping people understand, those little debts right now are going to keep creeping up. You've probably been looking at those credit cards. All of a sudden, those minimum payments, I'm betting over the last two months, you're like, wait, that's more money. That's higher. Right, So. right. We want to help people understand that cash is king right now more than ever because chances are this isn't a forever loan that you're in right now. But you're buying a house, so once that house starts working for you, you start gaining your equity that way, then we're going to revisit and win when the opportunity is right to take advantage of it there. Excellent. And I also got invited to the steak dinner, so I need to go learn how to invest. There you go. Greg's the man with that. That's for sure. Hey, Ron. Hey, just stake Qu- off of Gregory. Question yes, for you here. Uh, how much a month, if you were to pay off some of that debt, how much would that impact you a month? If I paid off two car notes and a little bit of credit cards we have, it would probably be over $1,000 a month. Okay. So when are you going to buy cars again? I don't have to buy but one, and I don't have to buy one at all right now. I have a 08 Avalon that'll last me until the wheels fly off. So I don't have to buy another car right now. Okay. So because some of that thinking of people will pay off a car, and next thing you know, they get they see the commercials, get an itch right. for the new right. Avalon or whatever it may be, or F-150, and and then right. they've, they've got monthly debt again. So always kind of think about car debt. You know, you're, you're going to buy another car someday. You know, it's even when somebody retires, they say, hey, I've, I've got to pick up a car. I'm retiring. And, you know, you're going to live 30 years into retirement. So that's not going to be your only vehicle. So it kind of has to be budget or in a way where you can write a check for those and, and not keep carrying debt. And be careful with right. credit going forward. People are, you know, because of inflation, are spending savings, uh, charging 
to keep up. And one thing you have to make sure is you have some margin, you know, a gap between your inflow and outflow. So think about that in those decisions and make sure you keep emergency money. And if you're investing, make sure you're taking a long view on that as well. Hopefully that helps, Ronnie. Thanks for calling Winning at Life.